In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use the Navigator a bit more to be able to take what we've done as a drawing from our project map to our view map, which we can also call saved views, then to be able to put that onto a, a layout, and then finally to be able to publish that. Uh, now, we're not going to use the publisher as such. We're going to use the organizer to do that. But in order to be able to create either printed views or PDF views or maybe it's a DWG or something else like that on a title block. So that's what we're going to do. Now, in this video, we're probably only going to do the first half of that or first part of that just so it doesn't go too long. And then we'll look at the rest um, in subsequent videos. So where do we start? Where we do our information. We draw our information in the project map. Now, the way that I describe this is it's dumb information or unintelligent information. It doesn't have settings at this point. So in order to be able to create a view that has settings, we need to save it as a saved view. Now, in the template file that we have in ARCHICAD, we see that it's already got a lot of information already added into this. Now, we could therefore use or replace any of the existing ones that are here. In this particular video, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to um, overcomplicate it. So what we're going to do is just not delete, but minimize all of this, and we're going to create a new folder. And into that folder, we'll call this multi -res. just so it's out of the rest of it and now we'll start to create our views now I'm going to focus in terms of my drawings on this unit here so the one between grids 2 and 3 just because it's in the middle uh, and it will explain some of the rationale of what I'm trying to do so to create our save views we can do this in multiple ways but we'll right click save current view and because I'm currently on my floor plan it's automatically going to understand what I'm trying to do or it's understanding that I'm creating a view of what I'm seeing and then I can name it as required. In this case, it's got an ID which is based on the story. I don't really want that ID at this point, not for a save view. Uh, under the name, I could leave that based on the project map so that uh, the story is called ground floor so it will just be called ground floor. That's fine as well at the moment. Layer combination, custom's not really good to be honest. I should be using one that's already here. Now, I, I haven't changed these. Again, this is just based on the template and I don't really know uh, what those are currently set up to because I haven't ad adjusted those. Let's just go with plan architectural. We might see once I do this, some things might turn on, some things might turn off. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue at the moment. Scale 1 to 100, that's appropriate for what I'm after. And I'm going to leave everything else just as it is. Let's press create. We see straight away we lost our furniture. So that's not really what we want to do. How do we fix that? Let's go either Command L, Control L, or Options, Element Attributes, Layer Settings. Now the one that we chose was Plan Architectural. And if we look through this, we see that some things are turned on, some things are turned off. And the, the ones that we lost, most importantly, is all of the fixtures and all of the furniture. So it's not at all really what we're wanting to have happen. Um, for now, I don't think there's anything that we actually don't want to see. So we could just say select all, turn on all, but that's really just going to mess up our layer combination. So ideally what we should be doing is turning them on one at a time. The other issue that we might have is we don't currently know what layer all those other things are on. So if I go Command L or back into the layer settings, the first thing I'm going to do is just select all the layers and turn them on. I'm not going to update the layer combination, I'm just going to make them all visible. We'll see that these objects, which is furniture, is made a little bit harder because it's part of our module file. So it's a hot linked file. We see it's called Objects Landscape. Realistically, that's not a very good name, is it? So that's why it's possibly not showing up. But we can't really do much in terms of to change it here because it's based on our module file. Now, I will just go through and check all these. Now, because they're all just places, objects, the reality is that they may not have been changed name. I could go through and update these in my module file, but I just don't want to do that at the moment for this video. So let's go back into this view settings. And instead of updating the layer, 
combination, we're just going to change it to say show and unlock all. So now we'll see that will just turn all those layers back on. It'll be on a layer combination, which is a bit safer than just being custom, because that's hard to edit. But now we know that there is a problem, and later on we'll have to update that. Now again, the real value of the way that Archicad works is we can update at any point, so we can create our save views without any major problems. So we've got a, a floor plan on the ground floor. The first floor, what we'll see is pretty much identical at this point. Um, the basement underneath isn't really set up in relationship to the story above. Now we should really be doing that with the way that columns work and where the stairs are and things like that. At the moment, not the point. So let's not worry too much about that. We can also create external elevations. They already exist, but of course we might need to save them as save views. Let's just have a look at what that looks like. Right click, open with current view. It's going to take a while to generate now because I have so many pieces of furniture that are currently all turned on. It's going to slow down the file. So you have to be very careful when you're using a lot of furniture and other elements like that that have a lot of nodes, um, a lot of polygons, because they will slow down your system. Still thinking. All right. Uh, part of the other reason why it's taking a while is because we do have shadows turned on. Where are we looking? We're really looking at this area here. This is our relationship between unit two. Now it doesn't look fantastic at all at the moment. We have a bit of an issue with the relationship of the terrain as well. So we can see that uh, we're currently sort of semi underground, which is the reality of the site. So it's not like that's uh, inaccurate but it's not necessarily the way that we want it to be shown. Part of that can be where we're choosing to place our cutting plane. So we could potentially move that cutting plane forward. Now what we'll see when we update this is that's now going to be cutting through the basement. And depending on whether the basement is having an impact on the terrain, solid element operation for instance, then it will um, show up without the terrain in place, which is sort of what we're after in this case. But again, we have to wait. Right, so there we go. So we can see what's happening there. So let's just save this as a save view under multi res. Same place. Now we could make these into separate folders, plans, sections, elevations. I'm not worrying about that at the moment. I just want to do this as a very quick video. Uh, and of course, we've looked in previous versions of Archicad at how to create a template. And I've shown you how to make templates using your own folder setup um, in a lot more detail than this. So we're just going to leave that just like it is. So now we've got a ground floor. West elevation, we're going to do one more, which is a section. So we'll use this existing section line here. Uh, let's use this one instead, actually. Hopefully, this is a bit faster because we should be seeing less information. There we go. Save. Save. Now we've got lots of information which is not correct, which is incorrect, which needs to be edited. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter at the moment. We can do that later. And this is sort of a good principle or good practice to get into to create views earlier than when your drawings are finished. And if nothing else, it helps you to identify how much work you have left to go. Uh, it's also great to be able to have a draft set. For instance, even though my model is not finished, I might need to start doing some redesign and I'd be much better off to redesign uh, by printing it out and sketching over by hand than to be trying to spend a lot of time fiddling with design in Archicad. So now we've got our save views and we need to place them onto a layer. Again, we will see that Archicad template has a lot of stuff for us, so that's really helpful, but right now it's just too much information for me to be able to want to talk about with you. So we're just going to, in order to make this clearer, make a new folder. And again, we'll just call that the same thing, multi-res. And I'm going to save new layouts or create new layouts into this. Now we're going to use 
this master layout. What does that mean? You'll see in a second. Right click new layout, master layout, A3L landscape title block. And I'll, I'll rename this, uh, let's just call it floor plan. Now it's created a new layout and it's given a new number, a new ID. I'm going to get rid of that ID for now. We can put it back in later. And we see that this is the again the template title block that ArchiCAD creates for us. Now if I try to select that, I can't select it because it's a stamp or a representation of what is actually on the master layout. So if I go to the master layout, we see that then we can select this, but we can't even edit it here because this is a save view. Right click, open source view. Now we can actually find the 2D information and be able to edit that if we wanted to. But if we go all the way back to our layout, it's there, it's visible, and wherever we see a hash, that means it's auto text. So we can see that it's automatically got the drawing title as multi res floor plan because that's based on my layout subset name and my layout name. Of course, I don't have a drawing number here because I chose not to put that in. So if I rename this and call this, let's say, A2000, that's going to automatically show up here as well. Now, there's a lot of other things that we're not able to see. It hasn't changed yet. Uh, a lot of auto text, which is not providing any information. Why is that? Because under File Info, Project Info, there is huge amounts of settings that we can change and currently they don't have any detail. So we'd have to go in and change each one of these or add in information to each one of these for it to show up in our title block. We're not going to do that for now. We're just going to leave it like it is. Let's just stay on target, on track and get some drawings onto our layouts. So back to our multi-res, we have our ground floor, our west elevation, and our section. Now I could theoretically drag them all onto here. I'm probably going to put each one onto an individual page just so we've got a few pages to be able to work with. Now when we place a save view, and it's very important that we follow this pattern from our project map to our view map, to our layout, to our publisher, and that just means that we manage our files better. We know where they are, we know they're in this folder rather than being scattered all over the place. Now I'm going to shrink this down, I don't want to show the entire project, I just want to show this one apartment, and I can shrink this down this way as well. What am I using? I'm using the offset edge tool, and what am I shrinking? I'm not actually changing the scale, I'm just reducing the viewing window. So what is that? That's a, a viewing window into our model, into our ARCHICAD model, and we're choosing a scale which we, when we create our view, let's just right click view settings, we talked about our layer combination, we didn't really talk about scale, so we're creating this drawing at 1 to 100. Why? Because when we're building it, we're actually building at 1 to 1, or in ARCHICAD we're modeling at 1 to 1, but we need to reduce the scale to be able to put it on a piece of paper. Again, we get auto text happening with this title. Where's that title? Down here, title. We can change its settings if we want to, but let's leave that for now. And we're going to repeat this process to be able to put the elevation and section on as well. So new layout, I could just press create, uh, new layout, create. And then of course, it didn't do it right because I didn't change the settings. I can always go in later and change these as well. I don't need to necessarily do it to begin with. We'll call this um, A3000. And then I will call it so that's the layout name, sorry. Uh, custom ID and layout name will be section. And then we'll do the same thing with this one, rename. I didn't want to do that, but that's fine. Um, A4000 and we'll call this one elevation. Now I need to go into the setting there and change that to the A3 landscape as well. And then we repeat that process, single click back on the save views, and then drag and drop our section. 
Did I do the right one? Yep. Now again, reduce this down to what we want to see. Again, this information is not actually correct, but uh, that's fine. We can always update it later. Now we might have a bit of a problem that the size of this project is so big at 1 to 100 that it's not actually going to fit on the page really well. This is quite common for bigger projects, so that might mean that we need to increase the page size, maybe up to A2 or A1. I generally like staying with either A3 or A1. I don't really want to use A2. Or reduce the scale down. But of course, we really can't afford to reduce the scale down. That could be an issue as well. That's why it's not fitting at 1 to 50. So we can go into the settings here, drawing selection settings. When we go to the size and appearance, we're just going to check that. So we see magnification 100%, drawing scale 1 to 50. We don't really want that. We don't want to change the magnification. We actually want to change the original instance. So that will be drawing scale 1 to 50. And then, of course, we'll change that back to 1 to 100. But it's not changing, is it? Why is that happening? Because we need to change the original instance, not just its placement. So let's go back to the Save Views, right-click View Settings, and we'll change this here to 100. Now, it hasn't automatically updated yet. And we'll often see when we update scale later, it ends up placing it outside of our viewing box. Can I find it? No, I can't. If that happens, the best way is really just to drag and drop again. And when I drag and drop again, it will relocate it where I want it to be. So that's a better solution. Again, I'm just going to roughly do this, place it in the middle of my page, move, drag, and let's just do this one more time for elevation. Now, before we do that, let's just make sure it's correct. West elevation, view settings, change to 1 to 100. Uh, double clicked. Let's try that again. <laughs> Bit slow. Come on. I'm going to have to end this video soon. All right, thank you. Now let's single click to drag and drop onto the page. Now, of course, what I did wrong, what I didn't do well when creating my save view of the elevation is that I chose a layer combination that allowed for the furniture to be on, and that's why it's taking so long. So let's look at how to update that again. Exactly the same as before. We'd need to right click on the view, go into the settings, and then we can change the layer combination. So let's try that just to speed this process up in the future. View settings, layer combination. Now we could use elevations, we could use plan architectural. We don't really know yet until we go into it what that means. still taking a while. So we could assume that means that the, um, the the layer object landscape, I think it was called, is still visible on this view in this layer combination. Uh, what am I trying to do here? I'll, I'll just show part of this and part of this just so that we can sort of can see what we're focusing on. Again, this is very rough. It's just for the purposes of showing you how to create layouts. So now we've got three layouts. And we're going to, in the next video, have a look at how to export these to the publisher or through the organizer to then be able to turn these drawings into PDFs and of course then be able to print them.